So I'm going to show you kind of how uh, bad the situation is right now and hopefully this new workbench will kind of fix that problem for me. Here we go. Hey, I'm Janelle, this is to DIY for, and this week I'm doing a project that I've been putting off for way too long, mostly because while I was out today, I saw something on sale, and I thought it would be perfect to create myself a workbench, which is so desperately needed. I hate the table that I've been doing my DIYs at. It's not good for my back, and it's just a really old table, but my whole DIY room in general is an absolute disgrace. I moved into a two bedroom apartment for the sole reason that I could have this DIY office space, and it's turned into a dumping disaster zone. There's just so much stuff in here, things that I haven't found homes for since I moved. Just, I leave things all over the floor and close the door and forget about it. So I am finally going to do some of that organizing because the bench I'm going to make is going to be higher and it's going to give me so much more storage and hopefully this place will look a whole lot better and I will be able to keep it that way. Okay, lots of garbage to sift through and a lot of things to sort. That shelf unit that I'm working on back there is actually pretty much where I've been storing all of my DIY supplies for the past year or so. And it's really not efficient and a lot of my supplies are spewing out onto the floor. So that's why I need more storage. Pretty much got everything all tidied up and now Table. I can finally get rid of that table. I cannot tell you how happy I'm about that. I'm moving in these two cubed shelving units that I previously built. These are really basic. These are the six cubed units and I chose these because it's lots of storage. It was a good width for my table but also a great height for it as well. It's gonna be more of a counter height so I don't hurt my back constantly while bending over and working on projects. They're pretty simple to throw together and I picked them up at Canadian Tire for a steal for 35 bucks. Except I hurt myself. Oh my god. These two injuries, this is from last week. This is from just a few moments ago. I uh. have seriously not been having a good run with injuries. <laughs> Okay, so with these two shelving units, I'm going to create a tabletop with some pine boards. I have two one by tens and one one by eight. They are six feet long and I'm stretching them across there. Before I move on to the next step, which is screwing them in, I wanted to paint the back of these shelving units. They're not normally seen, so they're not exactly pretty. So I'm just covering it up with some paint that I had from my walls that are in my living room. It's just like a gray color. It's what I had on hand. So I think it looks a lot better once they've been painted. And now it's just time to line up the boards. I decided to do a 10 inch overhang on each side so just measure that out and then a one inch overhang on the width of it just because that's how wide all of the boards are when I lined them up. So I drilled some pilot holes in first and then screwed the boards into the tops of each um, shelving unit. I used screws that were about I think an inch wide uh, or sorry an inch long and that um, I buried them a little bit so they get into the shelving unit top but they don't go through it. So each board has eight screws into it, four on each side, and once that was all done, I thought it'd be a good idea to sand it, but I kind of got ahead of myself. Really, in reality, what I should have done first is fill those holes with wood filler which is what I'm doing now. <laughs> and I say I should have done it first because I'm gonna to have to sand down all of these boards again and sand down all of those holes again. So I did extra sanding and extra cleaning. But once you've sanded all that down again and it's dried, wipe it off with a damp cloth. And then basically I just threw on a polyurethane coat um, a seal for it. In between coats, you go back with a 220 grit sandpaper and then wipe it down again. And I gave it another coat. So I did about three of these on my new tabletop and I am ready to DIY. Well, 
basically. Next, I just filled all my shelves and kind of started organizing some of my items, trying to do the best I could, keeping my spray paints and my stains together, my fabrics all together, my tools in one area. And I came up with this idea for my tapes and ribbons. And this is on the back of one of the shelving units, just with two nails, a little dowel, and all of the tapes and ribbons line up there. And I thought it was a really good idea. So here's the room reveal and how much better it looks right now. I still do have some decorating to do in here, but I'm really happy with my new storage and workbench. finished product. I'm very happy with this new DIY table, workbench, whatever you want to call it, complete with all the storage along the sides. Really excited to start doing projects on here and I uh, really like how it turned out. If you enjoyed this DIY, please let me know, give the video a like or leave any comments down below. And uh, the rest of the space, I'm hoping to do some kind of functional decorative storage up here. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, still trying to figure it all out how I'm going to do that, but that is definitely on the way. So don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back next Wednesday with a new DIY. Plus, um, I don't want you to miss a video. Now, as promised in the community tab, I've started sharing a few more photos there and just asking questions and whatnot. And I shared this photo of this lovely thing that you can see on my face right now. Yeah. Well, I promised I'd let you know what happened, where I got it from. I was at a concert a couple of days ago and I took a really nasty tumble, scratched my hand, my shoulder, bruised my leg, and face planted nicely into the gravel. So that's where that came from and hopefully it heals up nicely and I don't have a scar on my face. Uh, that's just kind of my life, I'm a bit of a klutz. And if you do want a more inside look into my life, Definitely check me out on Instagram or on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. Share lots of photos there regularly. But of course, if you do any of my DIYs, please tag me in them on my Instagram or Twitter because I'd love to see what you're making. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll chat with you next week. Cheers.